things were quiet and peaceful in Bongo, Congo. The king and Odie were enjoying their favorite game, Bongo, Bongo. The alert palace guards were going carefully about their chores. The Bongo drum factory was humming smoothly. Yes, all was well. Except for that diabolical duo, Biggie Rat and Itchy Brother. Things are bad, see? Everybody's happy in Bongo, Congo. And why does that leave us? Nowhere. A little more of this and we'll have to go to work. Good work? Work? Uh, gee, Big, you like to uh, flip your wig? We gotta eat, see? And we're out of money. But uh, I'm more the big type, Big. Uh, and I go for sitting around with my uh, bongos and uh, reeling off rhyme like, uh, uh, when I wonder what is work, uh, I like uh, rhyme the work with jerk. Because it's the jerks with all their works who's uh, driving us to beat the jerk. You got it, Ed. You've really got it, see? Like, uh, got what, Big? The new plan. It's simple, see? We get everybody in the kingdom to be a beatnik like you. We make you the leader, see? Uh, me, Big? You. Everybody will love the idea, no work. And after you've got them all on your side, we make Kingsley hold an election. And the people will elect you king, see? Uh, okay, Big, I dig. Immediately, Biggie and Itchy put their new scheme into action. Hey, 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 all you cats, uh, lend an ear to your leader. That's right, you mugs. Itchy here is the leader of the Bongo Beatniks. He stands for all play and no work. If you're tired of working, it's time to switch to Itch. Yeah, like uh, I'm the Pie Piper of Poetry. And Itchy Brother was right. He truly became the Pie Piper of Poetry. Although a few loyal workers held out, the switch to Itch was on. You can't beat Beatniks became the slogan of the day. And back at the palace... Guards! Guards! Someone come open the door, confound it! <laughs> What's going on, True Blue Odie? Where is everyone? I had to open the door myself! Nearly strained my wrist. Oh, I'm sorry, sire. Something terrible has happened. Itchy Brother has gotten all your subjects to leave their work and become... Become beatniks. Beatniks? Beatniks? Why, that's the most unheard of thing I ever heard of. If everyone becomes a beatnik, who'll do the work? Who'll make the bongo drums? Who'll take care of the palace grounds? Who'll open doors for me? Oh, indeed. Who oh, but the only two left to do the work? King Leonardo and True Blue Oticoloni. And both the King and Odie were unfamiliar with factory machinery. <laughs> and now, Biggie Rat put into action the next step of his plan to take over the kingdom. All right, you mugs. Now you know who's got the right idea of living. Your leader, Itchy Brother. He's the one who ought to be your king. Not that lunkhead, Leonardo. Yeah, uh, make me king and, and Big and I will uh, take your bongo bus. Shut up, lunkhead. You'll ruin everything. Now listen, guys. Demand that the king hold an election to see who you square, uh, subjects really want for king. Get me? I found it, Odie. What's all that noise outside? I don't know, son. It sounds like someone beneath the balcony. <laughs> Let us decide who should be king. Give us a vote! So it's an election they want, is it? Well, of course I'll hold an election. Everyone knows my subjects love me. Oh, but sire, I fear this is the work of Biggie Rat. He has talked the subjects into following Itchy Brother. They will all vote for him, not you. Oh, no! This is terrible! Yes, True Blue Odie Colony was right. The subjects, now true beatniks, were ready to cast their votes for Itchy Brother for King. Was there anyone who would vote for King Leonardo? Be sure to watch the next exciting episode, Call Out the Kids.